standing right here is a guy who looks like Snoop Dogg. Damn. But he ain't oh, Snoop Dogg. Well, that. you do, you do look. I get that all the time. What's your name, man? You knew an upcoming, but you're at this summit. What's your name? Where you from? My name Nipsey Hussle. I'm from L.A., Slots and Crenshaw area. You know. Okay, well, Nipsey Hussle, that's named after Nipsey Russell, the Correct. comedian. Correct, yes, yeah. So talk a little bit about yourself, man. What brings you up here, up and coming, and, you know, how come you're not blinging and having all kind of crazy diamonds and all that? I guess you're here to get your money right, huh? All the time, I mean, you know, all that is cool for the image and all that, but all them is liabilities, you feel me? I'd rather invest in some real estate, you know what I'm saying? Something oh, wait, well, can you repeat that again, man? You're up and coming artist. What did you say you want to do? I said invest in some assets as opposed to trick off my money on some liabilities like diamonds, you know what I'm saying, cars that lose value, so you drive them off the lot. You so you're trying, to, you're trying to get land. Exactly, homie. A real asset. Take care of my people because, you know, that's, that's it, it look good, but at the end of the day, you're losing value, homie. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't appreciating, it's depreciating. It's losing value. What do you think, uh, why do you think it's so hard for people to get that message? You know, I mean, one and a half, you get guys that say they got to impress the females. Female ain't trying to talk to you unless you blinged out. On the other hand, you got other people feel like they got to show off to the homies and impress them with their riches. I mean, what, what do you think is the, how do we get that out of that mindset? I mean, I feel like that's insecurity. Material things ain't nothing, you feel me? At the end of the day, it's who you is, you know? You wasn't born with it, you're gonna die without it. So if you feel you need some, some diamonds or some jewelry to get out of female, it's because you feel you lack something within yourself, you know what I mean? So all that, as far as that angle, it's like I feel that's insecurity. Now talk a little bit about yourself, man. You out here, what you say, Slauson, right off Crenshaw and all that, right? What, he's Egyptian? No, Are you, no? Oh. he's African. <laughs> oh, see, she got it all wrong. She, you she know. got the continent right. Though. Yeah, you got the continent. Man. Okay, yeah. well, you know, she said he's Egyptian, you know. <laughs> Ethiopia is a little bit different, man. It's a little bit over to the west, you know. She, she didn't take uh, classes it's there. good, though. She got the continent right, though. You know what I mean? I'm African, but I'm from L.A., though. You know what I mean? All right, talk a little bit about what you're doing and, and, and how you're trying to make a difference in terms of the west coast scene out here right now. How you trying to fit in? What's what's your angle? I mean, I'm just representing what's going on out here. You know what I'm saying? From from a perspective of a young dude that's been out in these streets in LA, you feel me? I'm just, you know, giving it to him raw and uncut. But at the same time, I'm, I'm not I'm not glorifying this violence that's popping out here because it ain't nothing to, to glorify. You know what I'm saying? I'm just really it's like I, I look at my music like like a snapshot of my neighborhood, you feel me? What what's your neighborhood like, man? Lots I mean, of big houses, pools, uh, I mean, nice police officers and everything? No, no, nothing like that, you feel me? No. Do they protect and serve in your neighborhood? No, no, you feel me? They react. The police react. They don't stop nothing. It's still people getting killed, still robberies popping. Everything happened, they just react to it, you know what I'm saying? They take you to jail and make money off you after it happened. They don't stop nothing, though. Okay. You feel me? The police don't protect and serve nothing. They just react to it, you feel me? So let me ask you, you know, um, L.A. right now has been experiencing a lot of black and brown stuff, you know, a little violence going on there. What would you say to that? And, and somebody in your neighborhood coming from where you're at, what, what message do you give so people can maybe see a, see things in a different light? I mean, I feel like, you know, we got a common enemy, you know what I'm saying? So I don't feel we got time to be beefing, you know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. That, that's divide and conquer, you know what I'm saying? That's Willie Lynch, you know what I mean? It, we got a common enemy in these capitalist that's that's taking control of our assets and and, and, and colonizing what we doing as far as rap music as far as our continent we came from our culture and all that like we got a common enemy so we ain't got time to to have issues amongst ourselves the same as well as a black on black are you have you been back to africa you know i know next uh in january they're gonna have a big uh, world social forum in kenya okay. you might go out to that and what's what's the scene like over there on the hip-hop team Man, they loving it, homie. That, that really opened my eyes to how global and worldwide hip hop has become. You feel me? I went to East Africa, where my people is from, like two years ago. A lot of people don't know, man. In East Africa and Somalia and all those places, they have the war poets out there. All that rap stuff that we do today came from that area. Am I right? Am I lying? No, that's real talk. You know what I'm saying? It comes from struggle. People gotta express their struggle. When you ain't, when you ain't got no other means of, of you know, liberating yourself, it's through spoken word and, and expression. You feel me? So. It's relative out there as well. You know what I mean? They relate to our struggle. Okay. Well, there you go. So we're going to look out for you, Nipsey Russell. When's your next album coming out? When's it going to drop? Uh, first quarter 07. Bullets ain't got no name. Slow some boy records. You know what I mean? We're going to get distributed. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get in all the stores. It's going to be popping. Nipsey Russell. And then remember, man, he said invest in land. Yeah. Don't be bringing like these other folks, man, buying all kind of diamonds and stuff that, you know, that depreciates in value. That means it ain't worth nothing at the end of the day. Am I right? All the time. There Buy your go. mama a house, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a good investment. There you go, man. We out for now, family.